Okay. I'm a little nervous. Um, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but I feel like I should say something or, you know, maybe tell my story or talk about my life and what I've been through. Um, and we'll see where it goes. You know, um, my name is Jed. I am an alcoholic and um, I guess I'm an addict as well. And I'm transgender. Um, I feel a little insecure because I'm not wearing makeup, I have acne. And um, yeah, this is me. This is who I am. Um, I'm feeling like I'm not motivated. I'm not like energized or I don't have energy. I'm not like motivated to, to do this video. And I've been hesitant to do, you know, talking about myself because I don't like talking about myself. Um, I don't like to um, bring attention to myself, to me. It's just, I, I guess it's just overwhelming or I don't like talking in front of a lot of people. Um, I just, in a way, I kind of just put my, hid myself in the back and just, you know, slowly would have, would along with life. But I've learned that hiding and being, keeping quiet and keeping your feelings and hiding what, how you feel and isol isolating a lot and not talking to people can really do damage to you. Especially if you're trans like me or if um, you had a, a, an abusive childhood or if your parents were alcoholics or you just were raised in a, in a um, abusive, an abusive um, family, you know, abusive parents um, being neglected and um, just felt like you're being rejected from everyone and not understanding who you are as a boy or am I a girl or, you know, I wish I was like this or I wish I was beautiful or I wish I was, I wish I was accepted by my family or yeah, that and like, I wish I was accepted by my parents. And most of all, I wish I accepted myself. But, um, anyway, I'm in a treatment center and um, I'm in um, rehab. I um, came to, or I came to rehab because like they say in the AA book you know your life was unmanageable and my life was unmanageable um I started drinking when I was like 15 16 years old I started smoking marijuana when I was 15 or 16 um excuse me if I feel like my voice is getting all like like I feel like or uh, like I'm talking like I'm afraid or something. I'm really nervous. I'm just my first time and I don't know if I'm really going to um, post this or if I'm just gonna keep this for myself. I'm not sure, but I feel like I need to tell my story because it might help somebody out there. It might help somebody who's transgender, somebody who's Native American, somebody who, out of place, neglected, quiet, 
or you know just struggling with depression I, I don't know we'll see um but yeah uh, we had class today and um, they asked they asked three things something that was drastic and why did you start using you know why'd you start drinking why'd you start doing drugs what made you start drinking for me and how did that addiction change you well um my parents were alcoholics um I was just raised seeing abuse or my stepfathers my mom married you know two two of my stepfathers and um at different times yes um you know just seeing abuse and seeing um cigarettes and seeing alcohol um all over the place um seeing my mom getting beat up um and I'm sorry I, I feel I'm like nervous like I don't I really don't like talking about myself but I'm trying to like get this out there because like I said I feel like I need to I feel like I've been quiet for too long I feel like I need to stand up and share I don't know who I'm sharing to but maybe this will help um but yeah, my parents were alcoholics for as long as I can remember. A lot of abuse was going on. A lot of neglect was going on um, when I was about, or when I was an infant, you know. Um, my mom got her kids taken away from Child Protective Services, services and um, I guess I was, I, I hear stories from my siblings that, you know, there was kids that used to pinch me and you know, pick on me because I was, you know, I was a little baby. I was helpless. And, um, you know, when you're in like taking away from your, I guess it's like DES or something, you know, like just, you know, it, it wasn't good. It was bad. You know, I hear stories from my siblings and stuff and I could tell that it really hurt them. And, um, by the way, I'm the middle child and, um, so yeah, there was a lot of alcohol. My parents were alcoholics. And the next question, or the second reason was I was not happy with myself. Probably for, a, I guess for as long as I can remember, I, I didn't accept myself. You know, it was hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. It's hard to um, be be myself. It was it was hard to be myself. You know, I know I wanted to be happy. I know I wanted my parents to accept me. I know I wanted to be a normal person, but it was just you know it was really hard. You know, I couldn't be masculine. I couldn't be feminine because it was, it just, I guess, not normal. And my mother, who was, um, who believes in God, who was a Christian, um, used to tell me, like, a lot of times, you know, when she was drunk, and um, her, my stepdad, too, would tell me, like, you know, um, you're going to go to hell. Um, God made you a man and you're not a woman. You'll never be a woman. And, you know, that hurt a lot. It really did. And I guess during that time when I was like, uh, during that time, like 14, 15, 16, I was, you know, a gay boy. I guess I still am or when you know it doesn't matter or I guess it does matter but you know it, it, it really like stuck to me 
like they say, like, um, words hurt. To this day, it's, it stays in my mind. Um, you know, it bothers me. I even tell myself that, like, you know, you're not feminine, feminine enough. You're not masculine enough. And sometimes I just, like, want to cut my hair. But I'm like, I don't want to look ugly. I'm going to look like a, a boy. I'm going to look like a man or, you know. So I struggled with that for a very long time. I struggled with the way I looked. I struggled with, I need to, you know, if you're going to be a female, you need to work extra hard and look the part if you're gonna you know and I would it would I guess like um just feeling broken and being told you're a fag and being told that you're a queer and being told that God hates you and being you know like being bullied in high school and um just being hated on and it made me feel afraid it made me feel like I was basically just not good enough I was ashamed I could remember a few times my mom, like, you know, being in public with my family or my mom or, you know, just being ashamed. And I could see just my mom, like, avoiding being around me in public, public like, to the grocery store, or, you know, to go get groceries or in school or something, just being just looking at my parents and just knowing that they're embarrassed of me. Um, and being a middle child, it just felt like the black sheep. Um, I believe that I'm the only person who actually is transgender I th I believe I'm tr I'm somewhat like transgender or you know I don't take hormones but you know but um I guess I'm in that area of being transgender sorry somebody's I feel like a fool but just um just confused and just having like suicidal thoughts and not really knowing where I'm, I, I'm gonna be like, not feeling safe, not feeling safe at home, not feeling safe at school, you know, just, you know, you're, the people that are that love you are supposed to protect you and you know it wasn't like that um so you know just that was the second one of not like self-acceptance and not being happy and you know how i and and just a little story of how i ended up not accepting myself and you know and the third one is um I was in a a car accident. Well, I call it a car accident because it's just it's too embarrassing to talk about. I never really shared this with anybody. I usually just call it a car accident. But I was hit by a car in 2016 because I was intoxicated. And the reason why I was intoxicated was because I made 
mistakes I made serious mistakes in my first relationship with somebody like my first serious relationship and you know I just I hurt somebody I said I loved I hurt somebody who I thought I cared about but I was I guess I was a bad person and I, I still feel like I'm a bad person you know I feel like I don't deserve to be loved because you know what I did and what I did when was um, gosh I just feel like an asshole um, I I started talking to another guy and um, he found out and he broke up with me and that really you know that really sucked that I didn't know what to do um, I didn't want to deal with the, my emotions during that time and that day we broke up he left and I 